And I really do think that this is an important video to watch, especially since we will all soon be stuck in a nightmarish post-apocalyptic landscape, and it'll all be because of North fucking Korea. They hate us. <laughs> they are a d dictatorship, and they're going to bomb the hell out of us at any second. And let me tell you something. The paranoia I feel over North Korea, yeah, it is retro as hell. It's the same way I felt when I went to the Y recently, and I'm in the the, the jacuzzi, and uh, Madonna's Lucky Star started playing. Yes. And I'm like, holy shit, I don't know when the last time was I heard Madonna's Lucky Star. Wow, that, that is an interesting feeling. It's like a tingling. It's like a remembrance. That's how I feel being fearful of nuclear war. Yes. Oh, Cause, totally. Cause, uh, oh, totally. Yeah. Nuclear war scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. It scared the fuck out of me, too, but a different time period. People were really talking shit about Russia in the 80s. Oh, yeah. yeah. People were saying the same thing about Russia in the 80s during the Cold War. Well, that because... is, of course, until the... And, but let's not forget the point when the Cold War ended. That was when our nation's champion... The Italian Stallion, Rocky Balboa, yeah. fought their champion, Ivan Drago, thereby ending the Cold War. Yes, yes. That's but, when it stopped. But everybody was insane about it in the 80s because fucking Ronald Reagan stood up and called them the evil empire. Oh, yeah. And, and he, he, oh, was, yeah. he was Trump in it. Just what, yeah. just what Trump is doing now with North Korea. That's what Ronald Reagan was yep. doing with Russia. And with Russia, like, they could fuck us up. Like, like that's end of the world time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. People with, were with all North, over that with, in the 80s, though. Yeah. With North Korea, we yep. may have a chance. You know? Um it yeah, there's a part of this documentary that makes me feel better because it's like, okay, they might have nuclear warheads and they might also kill us, but they also don't have food. Yeah. They also don't have food or electricity or cars, so that does make me feel kind of better. Maybe this is a Russia situation in the sense that no one has money and this isn't a functioning country and... Uh, yeah, maybe they're just kind of bluffing and they have no means to actually start this war. Maybe it's literally the Cold War all over again, because Russia was eventually fucking bankrupt as shit. Yeah. So maybe it's exactly like that, but at the same time, no, they could fuck us up. My, my, my big concern about it isn't really North Korea. Okay. Yeah. Because they, they like just got a missile that's getting some range. And they've just got a warhead. Okay. It's not like they have yeah. millions and millions of them. Okay. And if they hit San Francisco, I'll feel bad. You know? but they probably would have just used their one missile, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's not, I mean, it would totally suck. I mean, it, it would be awful if they, if they nuked San Francisco, but, it, but it would basically stop there. Okay. So that's not what's really worrying me. What's really worrying me is the rest of the world saying, you know what? We can deal with North Korea, but America is getting too motherfucking dangerous. Yeah. And it comes down to Trump saying, we're going to nuke North Korea. And the whole rest of the world says, the fuck you are. Yeah. And we, we have really a baboon to handle that situation. Yeah. We literally have yeah, a motherfucking talking chimp to get yeah. us through that situation. 
it's kind of it. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up that it's like, okay, we understand this North Korea situation is bad, but you can't threaten to destroy all of North Korea. There are people in there. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're threatening to destroy an entire nation. Like you can't fucking do that. Mm-hmm. Fucking uh, President Trump is literally just saying the things that I'm sure every other president wanted to say, but knew that he couldn't because he's fucking president. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, but in the 80s, people were all over uh, TV and movies and books about the coming nuclear war and the invasion. When I was in eighth grade, I had a book called USSR. And it was yeah. all about how we will all be acting when Russia takes us over. Yeah. You won't be able to listen to popular music anymore. TV will be outlawed. There will be no more movies. Well, there was... there you, was you be stuck buying bootleg of yeah. Beatles cassettes. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, USSA. That's what it was called. USSA. Ah. Uh, and I was convinced that the nuclear war was going to happen and Russia was going to take us over. I also remember a very haunting episode of Benson. Really? And just saying that out loud makes me feel so fucking old. (laughs) But again, I remember a very haunting episode of Benson. Yeah. Well, and there was there was also Red Dawn. And -hmm. if you remember the TV series America spelled with a K. K, hey, yeah. Yeah. You know, and the day after and testament oh, yeah. and yep. oh, looking glass. And and there was yep. a British nuclear war one that I absolutely loved. Um, I believe I remember that one. It is called Pip Pip Cheerio, We're All About to Die. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, oh, it I, had no. such it had su- such Yeah, well, John Cleese is amazing. John Cleese is amazing. My favorite part of the movie is is they they all knew the nuclear attack was coming. So all of the like CEO types and things like that, okay? They went down to the bomb shelter in the basement of the building, you know, and basically just fuck everybody else. And here is something that I absolutely never thought of, because we always put bomb shelters in the basement of buildings. That's a normal thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they all go in there. The bombs fly. The building falls. And buries the basement, so they're gonna die. Huh. Yeah. They're gonna die. Yeah, they're not gonna bad. die from the missiles, but they're gonna die because they they're just buried underground. Buried. Now. Yeah, and they're going to eventually starve to death or run out of air. Speaking of something British that you never thought of, uh, I a few months ago an episode of Full Frontal with Samantha B ruined Faulty Towers for me. Oh, what did she do? She was talking about a hatred of immigrants and played any random clip from any episode of Faulty Towers and then ended it with, (laughs) yeah, immigrants are stupid. And I'm like, God damn it. You just ruined every Faulty Towers for me. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't notice that the show was crazy ass racist towards foreigners, but God damn it. I loved that show. I, I, I don't know if that necessarily counts when it comes when it comes to. A, a comedy, and B, the time period of the comedy. Yeah. But I still spent so many times quoting that show going, okay? And it's like, okay, yeah, no, now I hear it. Yeah, okay, I'm being racist. Fuck you. Yeah. God damn it. So, in a positive bit of news, this fear of nuclear war, very retro for me. Yes. And the fear is not at all healthy. 
by this documentary. 